Ciao ragazzi! Welcome to Talk Cultural TV on YouTube. Of course, Mother and Sunday today. Did you buy your mum something nice? Did you take her out for dinner? Did you spoil her? Never in doubt, I knew you would. Um, well, while I was taking mine out today, of course, I came back and realised there's been all sorts in Serie A today in the results over this weekend. Um, we've seen a new leader, we've seen emotional tributes, we've seen a few shocks and other results we didn't expect and there is more to come yet. Um, we're going to start though, of course, not at the top of the table. We're going to start with La Viola Fiorentina. Now, in an emotional day at the Artemio Franchi Stadium in Florence, all eyes, of course, were on there because of one week ago today, David Astore passing away, the, cap the club captain, of course. Uh, his replacement as club captain, Victor Hugo, today scored the only goal of the game against Benevento. The man who replaced him as captaincy. Now, that must be hard taking the captaincy after the previous one has died. You can't imagine what they must have gone through mentally. But in fact, for any other Fiorentina player having to take the field today, first game after their skipper sadly, tragically passed away. Um, but they gave a story, a massive tribute. I'm sure you would have been looking down from the sky on the stadium, very proud, no doubt. He gave Fiorentina the lead on 24 minutes, and it was enough for them to beat Benevento. Benevento, it looks as if their fate is just surely weeks away from being sealed now, relegation back to Serie B. But of course, all eyes on Viola today. It was all about them and the story, and they gave them the perfect tribute with a 1 0 win. So hats off to the Viola there, Forza Viola. Um, now we have new leaders in Serie A, even if it is just for a few hours. Uh, Juventus, of course, after knocking out Spurs in the week in the Champions League, they beat the other Bianconeri today in Turin, that is Udinese. Uh, they won 2 0 thanks to two goals from this man, Paolo Dybala. He's in fine form right now, isn't he? Um, he scored, of course, a free kick on 20 minutes and then again on 49 minutes, a brace to give the Bianconeri three points and take them to the top, albeit for a few minutes or a few hours rather. Uh, Gonzalo Higuaino also missed a penalty, uh, his fifth career penalty miss. Of course, the last one he missed was against Spurs in the Champions League when he hit the bar. But they are top of Serie A for the time being. We'll see what a few hours brings. Of course, with Napoli are in action, we will come to that shortly. Uh, other results we'll run through shortly as well. Uh, it was Bologna 0, Atalanta 1. So that was a Russell Blue 0, Atalanta 1. Martin De Room scoring the only goal on 83 minutes and a way win for the Nerazzurri there. Uh, we had absolute drama though. Cagliari 2, Lazio 2. Now um, it was Pavoletti who gave Cagliari the lead. Um, then of course, Cipitelli scored in his own net to bring it 1-1. One, one. Then Cretelli scored again in 74 minutes. Barella with the goal. Chiro Immobile equalising in the 95th minute. Now, um, who said that Fergie time only existed in this country? I'm sure Alex Ferguson would have been proud of the time added on. He may have possibly been proud of the equalising goal. So a draw for Lazio. They do lose ground, of course, on Roma, who won the other night in their bid for third place in the Champions League automatic qualification. So Cagliari 2, Lazio 2. The Bianco Celeste felt again on their cross-city rivals there. Um, the big shock on this one was Crotone 4, Sampdoria 1. Now, we had this down as a draw or an away win. Um, but Crotone, of course, managed by ex-Sampdoria goalkeeper Walter Zenga. Um, they definitely turned up, of course, former Fulham man Marcelo Trotter scoring twice on 6 and 36 minutes. Uh, Stoyan also scored. Viviano, the goalie Sampdoria, has had a moment he would want to forget putting the ball into his own net. Uh, Zapata did score one got for Sampdoria, the Blue Chiarati, on 70 minutes. But a day to forget that um, uh, Crotone give their survival chances a massive boost there. And then we have Sassuolo 1, Spa 1. Uh, Babacar, of course, gave uh, equalised for Sassuolo from the penalty spot after former Leeds man Mirko Antonucci gave Spa the lead on 27 minutes. And there was, of course, the Verona derby last night. That was Verona 1, Chievo 0. Uh, Caracciolo was the only goal on 52 minutes. And what an atmosphere. We were watching that game, you know. People would have thought it's an unlikely derby, but, you know, this is at the bottom of the table. Verona... You know, every week we say, every time they pick up points, we say they're not out of it just yet, and they're definitely not out of it. Um, watching the game, you thought Chievo just lack inspiration. You know, since giacarini has gone injured, that new fresh face that was giving them some hope is now gone. I think Chievo will still be all right, but Verona, they are set, still second from bottom. If they could put two wins on the trot instead of win one, lose one, we well, just never know there. Um, also, while going on right now, that is the Rossoneri. AC Milan are playing Genoa away at the Luigi Ferrari Stadium. Uh, just while we've been on there, we, our last check of the score was 0-0 on that one. And of course tonight, um, it is Napoli, of course, currently now second, given the Juventus won earlier today against Odese. 
They are playing Inter Milan away at the San Siro in what will be another tribute, of course, tonight. It is 110 years since Inter Milan were formed, of course, in 1908. Uh, for those who don't know, it was actually formed after some unhappy AC Milan players were unhappy at the fact that they wouldn't sign foreign players. Uh, hence the name Internazionale. If you ever watched the episode when I done on the Derby della Madonnina that never was in the end, you'll see the history on that one given Inter Milan's past there. So, well, of course, that is our big game tonight. Um, so when we look at this weekend and our results, so we have new leaders, of course, Juventus there. You know, if Napoli slip tonight, that is a massive advantage in favour of the Bianco who then, of course, have a game to play in hand against Atalanta. So uh, if all eyes on that one. Um, don't forget to subscribe, Talk Culture TV on YouTube. Give us a like, comment below what you think of this weekend's results. Uh, we are now on Facebook as well, so don't forget to go to the page, Talk Culture TV. Give us a like, even join the discussion group. Tell us what you think of results, your cultural memories, or the state of Italian football as it is today. So don't forget to subscribe, and we will speak to you tonight after, of course, Napoli and Inter has finished, and also we'll give our reaction to the result of Genoa versus AC Milan. We will speak to you later on. Arrivederci. Ciao.